I've only been with two guys in my whole life. I've got these jeans from Gat. Silverstone Pile Driver! This is Sakurai! everyone and we're starting a brand new vlog and guess who's starting another vlog actually no Zai isn't starting a new vlog Zai has just done I'm one just... marathon vlog so if you guys have a free evening a day off work a bank holiday <laughs> I suggest you subscribe to Zai Brookside's YouTube channel and you settle in for that four hour vlog <laughs> that started in December at the embassy oh and has gone God. on for our debut our wrestling debut our new blood <laughs> debut us going to Wrestle Kingdom us going shopping I didn't even realize. Yeah. <laughs> okay, well, make sure you tune in for that vlog. Oh my god, sorry, we didn't show them. Guys, the best thing ever happened to us this week, and I've been meaning to vlog it for you guys. Wait. Oh, it's facing the wrong way. <laughs> We're on the go. We're cover girls, British pro wrestlers turned cover girls in Japan. everyone I hope this frame is okay I am sorry I can't remember the last time that I've vlogged like I'm not 100% sure I feel like this could also do with being like a little bit higher up because like I'm actually not in it I can't remember the last time that I vlogged I I'm really trying to wrap my brains I want to say it was at like a show or maybe new blood which was really fun but I can't 100% remember the last time that I vlogged and doing some stuff on my new project. I have a bunch of interviews today and I'm actually going out and I'm exploring a little bit so I thought I'd take you guys with me. So I'm gonna be doing that vlog so if you're not subscribed, hit subscribe. I didn't really vlog last week, it was Zaya's last week. Actually makes me so sad. Um, it was Zaya's last week so we literally just had loads of fun and just like went out, went shopping, had food. Obviously Zaya's last week, so we just wanted to like have fun and like make the most of it before she leaves. So I didn't really vlog too much. I was just like kind of enjoying life, um, which I think is good sometimes to like just take a beat and just enjoy like being present. But obviously now I'm on my own. I feel like I'm literally gonna vlog so much because I just enjoy it. Like I've already got a list of things I want to do TikToks or vlogs or days out on on my own. And Japan is amazing because it literally is so made for you to be on your own. Like when you go for food and different things like that, like everything is, it's not weird to be on your own. Whereas I feel like sometimes in the UK, like if you went for dinner on your own, like you should be able to, but you would feel weird. Whereas here it's like, cool. As I left at six yesterday morning, and then I literally just had like such a productive day. I was just like up and then I went to the shops and came back to get bits for the apartment, like cleaning stuff and just other bits and pieces. Like I wanted to get a foam roller. I'm gonna be here for a while. So I wanted to get like a few things just to make it a little bit better for me. I got like a really nice like incense burner, like a bunch of different stuff like that. And then I walked, just really walked around the city that I'm living in and then went to like the big donkeys, which I've got to take you guys to the donkeys because it's kind of like the range B&M, but like better. It's just like a really big like, shop but i didn't even spend a lot of money either like it's such good value for money here got like a bunch of necessities i came back i deep cleaned i went for food on my own i went to the gym i ate really well 
I had like a really full day. I washed all my gear. I washed all, all of my washing. I literally don't have a scrap of washing to do. Like a super productive, like deep clean, get everything I need necessity day. And today again, like I've got quite a full work day today. So I'm glad I got everything done yesterday. And then, yeah, it's quite full on. I go to a soccer this weekend, which I'm really excited about. So we've got one show this weekend, which is a little bit different. Normally we've been having like two. So we've got one in Osaka. And so yeah, it's pretty like full on my schedule that I've self-created, definitely self-created my schedule. But um, there's pretty full on until I think I get back on Sunday. And then February is a little bit of a lighter schedule. Like last month was so insane. It was in the best way though. Like I love being busy and I just got to wrestle so much. Like I think I wrestled more last month than I did in like three months in the UK. So that's what I'm here to do. That's what I want to do. So I'm really, really happy. I feel like every match I'm learning something, I'm getting better. I'm getting to experience such amazing things and learning so much about myself and figuring things out. Like it's, it's a really like whirlwind experience. Every week, just getting to wrestle, getting to train, doing press conferences. It's just like it, my life in terms of wrestling has gone from like zero to 100. And it's what I've always wanted. So I just hope I'm doing like a good job. <laughs> and I hope I'm like doing well enough. I feel like sometimes you like doubt yourself and doubt what you're doing, like is it good enough and everything like that. But I'm learning to just let go and just be proud of myself and just try to learn as much as possible. That's what I'm here to do. I'm here to learn a lot. There's a lot I want to achieve here. So yeah, we're just getting started on this very exciting journey, but I'm on my own now, which is sad. I'm going to be on my own for a while, but I do like my own company. It's just the odd time you're a bit like, oh, there's no one here. I'm trying to keep super busy. I've got loads of stuff to get on with work-wise, loads of commitments with stardom scheduled to, and then I've also just got a bunch of like touristy things I want to do too. So, so far, so good. We've only been one day alone, but so far it's going well. It's gonna be a really exciting day. I just had an interview and I've got another really exciting interview later on this evening. But between that, I need to shoot some content for my new project. And I'm also gonna go on a day out. I went out with a couple of friends the other day too. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna botch the pronunciation. Is it Ginza? I feel like it would be Ginza. No, uh, a couple of days ago for like lunch. And it was so nice, like I just was looking around, like I'd love to come here and just like mosey around and have a little explore. So I thought I would actually do that today. And I'm probably gonna get myself some food too. I did have breakfast, but I'm gonna go and get some food because by the time I go out, it's definitely gonna be way past, it's already past lunchtime, like I'm already hungry again. There's a little Sanrio store that I saw too. So I wanna go and check that out and just check out some of the shops. There's a jacket I wanna get from Zara. So I'm gonna go ahead and shoot my content and then we will head out, we'll get some food, we'll go to some shops. Then I have another interview and then I'm going to go to the gym really late. Then I've got training really early tomorrow and then I'm going to the gym again and then I'm going to go to the gym the next day and then go on the travel day to Osaka. In a short term, that is what I've got coming up. Pretty hectic, but very fun. So let's go. So I'm all done with my interview and my shoots and I'm surprisingly hot. I know it's cold outside, but I feel really like, what's the word? Like out of sorts with... The temperature there's a word for this i know there is because i had like the air con on obviously on warm like it's on warm for the apartment and then obviously i was doing like shoots and like dresses and lingerie so obviously you think you'll be cold but then i was taking pictures like in front of the window so it was so hot like shining in on my face i also want to know what time that was because okay 2 30 p.m is the best sunlight ever like crazy so I just got changed into like this little dress and then tights and shoes. This is just like a casual day dress. And I've just got this like nice pink jacket in my backpack. And I'm gonna head off now. I think there's one shop I wanna pop into. Then I have to eat, I'm gonna get food. I'm gonna eat a snack on the way, but I'm gonna get food. The shop shot at eight and 9 p.m. So I think I should be good for time. It's like 20 past three now. I should get there before four, pop to a shop, have some food. And then maybe like six o'clock, go to a few shops. Um, I have loved this pretty late in the day, to be honest. And I was like, oh, should I go, should I not? But do you know what? I'm going to go. And it's really easy to get everywhere because everything is just so commutable by the train. So I'm going to head off now, but everything went really well. I got the main things I wanted to get done. I've done my washing, like I washed my bed covers and everything. Not that there's really anywhere to hang them, so I'm just hoping they're going to dry by the time I get home. I've like laid them out in there. Hope they dry. Fingers crossed, touch wood. This happened last time. Every time we wash our bed covers, we literally just like find different places to hang them because... There isn't a place. So if you have any ideas, let me know. I'm trying to think, what do I do at home? Obviously I have like a clothes horse. Maybe I should just get one of them. They don't really have them here, do they? This isn't the conversation for right now, but 
let's go. I'm very, very excited and also nervous. It's, like my, it's my first day alone, but it's like my first day going into the city. before my interview so I've just got the kettle on and I'm gonna redo my hair because goodness gracious knows what's going on with it but I thought I'd quickly show you guys what I got today and also I did try to vlog bits and pieces today I hope you guys enjoyed it I was like getting my camera out in public like let's do it yeah, it was a really nice day on my own so like obviously in the UK like I do spend time alone but maybe I'll have like Danny with me sometimes when I vlog like I don't know if I've ever gone out and vlogged alone so that was definitely like a first today I just try to grab a few bits and pieces I didn't really have like a big day out because obviously I had an interview this morning and a shoot and then I know I have an interview tonight at 10 so I knew I wasn't gonna have like a full full day I did want to vlog it and show you guys it was really cool I went to San Rio World which was amazing I didn't buy anything which you guys should be proud of also just a side note <laughs> That is my bedding, drying. There is no clothes horse, there is nothing. So I have to use like the chairs and hang it across. So I know that looks, like I literally told you guys I deep clean the apartment and it looks like a mess. It's not, it's just that that has to dry and then my gear is also on the table drying because I haven't got anywhere to hang it. Like there's like a little thing for like your tops and whatever else, but there's nothing for like bed covers. So it's there, I'm owning it. This is how I live, that's my fort in the background. But yeah, I went to San Rio World and I didn't buy anything. I was fascinated by all the stuff and there were some cute bits, but then I was just like, the stuff I liked, for example, was like these cups and, oh, let's get off. And I just thought like, why would I buy cups? You know what I mean? Like it just felt a little bit silly. So there were little bits and pieces that I liked. I definitely want to bring my niece there if she can visit. I'm not sure if, if they will, but if she can visit at some point, it would be amazing to take her there. Like there's so many places in Japan that are so cool for children and me. So I feel like she would love it. So I went to some real world, which was really, really cool. And then I just kind of moseyed on to Zara. There was quite a lot of bougie shops, like designer shops, but there was a Gap and there was a Zara. And I really wanted this jacket from Zara and they didn't have it. I've seen it in every Zara up until this point. I just realized like I don't have any black or white jackets or like black and white shoes. Like I have no like neutral tones, if that makes sense. Like everything is like pink. And then I went shopping and I did get quite a few like staple bits. Like I got quite a few like tops to go with some of my bottoms that I have. And then like bottoms to go with some of the tops I had. Cause I packed terribly. Like I literally, before I left the night before, like I was getting up at six, the night before at like, I don't know, 6 PM. I just chucked like, I ordered a few things from PLT, chucked that in, chucked some heels and chucked things in, like just really out there things. And I got here and I was like, I haven't packed practically, like none of my shoes match my jackets and it's so cold here. So you're always gonna be wearing shoes and jacket, obviously <laughs> my shoes. I realized I made a few errors. So when I went out with Zai, we did get like, well, I say we, she encouraged me as I bought a lot of clothes. But they were like staple pieces I need and the stores are really, really cool here, like really cheap. But where I went today was a little bit different. Like it's a lot of like designer stuff, but I only really went to go and see Sanrio World, of course. But, like I'm a 24 year old woman and I'm like, yeah, there was Louis Vuitton, but anyway, there was Sanrio World. But I went to Sanrio World and then I did pop into Gap and Zara and I actually got a couple of bits from both. I was trying to get this black jacket, but they didn't have it. So I'm thinking next week on one of my days off, I might go shopping obviously where I went before or maybe somewhere different and see if I can find it or maybe something else because there was a few other jackets I like too. So I want to pick one and um, roll with that. But yeah, so I'm here for a while, you know, I need some clothes. So I'll show you guys what I got. The first place that I went was Gap. And oh my gosh, I actually found something in Gap which I did not think I would find here. And it's just these little jersey shorts. Now, why did it sound like I was gonna say jersey short? So I obviously have like loads of shorts at home and I literally live in shorts. Like even in the winter, I wear shorts quite a lot, like just soft shorts. And then when I got here, I realized like I didn't, I brought pajamas, like two sets, but like, I didn't bring shorts. And one of my pajamas is a short set, but when that's washing or drying, I'm like, I don't have any shorts just to chuck on. And you've got to chuck on like 
you know, what I, I mean, Zaya's gone now, so I could just walk around naked, but when she was here, I still walked around naked. <laughs> but I don't have any like little shorts just to pop on, so I was really, really happy with this find. I got an extra, extra small. Probably ambitious, but they look big. Do they? I don't know. So I got those, and then I got these jeans, which were pretty cool. Like Gap, when did Gap become stylish again, or did it not? And I'm just confused. But like, I remember when Gap was like, I loved it when I was younger, and then everyone's like, oh, it's so weird and embarrassing, and like, no one liked Gap, and now everyone loves Gap. And I'm like, hmm. But I think Gap's quite a big thing here, and there was quite a few like nice gym bits and jumpers, and I do need um, a few more gym bits, I think, or like just actually more like jumpers to put on. But I didn't get any. I was, I was like trying not to go too crazy. I just wanted to get staple bits. So I got these jeans because I have one pair of like pretty blue jeans. And then I've got pink and dark pink. I need a black pair of skinnies. But I got these. They're like flares. They're pretty cool. So I got those. They're pretty good quality. And it was a pretty good price for all of this to be fair to. So I was very happy with that. And Gap is good quality. And then I went to Zara for a black jacket, didn't get it. But I got these little like sleeve things, which are super cute. I do need to kind of like lay my things out and try and create some outfits. I normally just do that before I go out and stress, but I feel like I should do that now and see what I'm missing. Cause that's what I'm trying to figure out is like, cause I'm gonna be here for a while and I packed so badly. I'm just trying to figure out like, do I need some jackets? Do I need some jumpers? Do I need some gym wear? Like what do I need? And I think I've done pretty well. Like I've been really practical when I've been out. Like I'm not just trying to get stuff that I like because I'm really bad for that. I'm like, no, let me think, what do I actually need? And I think I'm pretty much there. I got this really nice white skirt, well, skirt actually. I like it because it's like really classy. Like the material's really nice. It looks a bit orange because the ring light's on like a warmer setting, but it's really nice because it's like classy, but it's also like still hot. It's not like, you know, and then I just got this sort of plain black long sleeve tee. This is such a nice, um, it's the wrong way around. <laughs> I think I went for a small on this. Yeah, I wanted it to be tight. And it's a really nice material too. And I thought that would just be great because I feel like it would be good for like in the day bits and pieces. Because I even go and shopping today, for example, like I didn't know what to wear because I feel like I've either got gym wear or like super dressy wear. And I only have one pair of jeans, which I'm not crazy about. And I've worn a few times now. So I'm like, I really want to mix it up and not wear the same thing. And so it felt wrong to go shopping as well and like gym wear, like I want to wear nice stuff because I'm going to buy clothes. So I kind of struggled today and I was like, okay, what do I need? I mean, the jacket is the main thing. And I do like what I wore, but like, yeah, I just feel like I'm missing that kind of like smart, casual, like nice daytime outfits. So I feel like this top will be great because this is going to go with like a lot of my bottoms I have that are like pretty nice, but I just don't have anything to go with them. And I've bought a few skirts and things here so I can wear tights and this top and them. And it's still casual, otherwise I'd have to wear like a corset, which is just a little bit much. I mean, some people would, but it's a bit much. And then, on the same sort of note, I also got this crop jumper, which I don't shop at Zara that much in the UK, so I don't know if these things are available in the UK, but um, I do like Zara in the UK, but I prefer going into the shop. Like I don't like shopping online and there wasn't really ever a shop near me, so it was very rare that I went. Whereas here, there's loads of Zara's. I've never seen anything like this. It's so nice because I can never wear crop jumpers because I've got, you know, the girls. I feel like if I wear a crop jumper, like I just look big. Like I have to have it tight here. Like I have to show my midsection or even if I have like a dress on like this and I put the jumper on, it has to be tight and show my midsection. And normally they're baggy and then you kind of just make sure you look like a square. Whereas this is so nice. Like I, I looked at it and I thought, kind of nice and I started trying on because I never used to try clothes on I know that's so bad I would just like like them and buy them and then not be crazy about them when I go to get ready and it would just be a disaster why did I never try my clothes on before so I'm really glad because I did take in a few different skirts because I didn't know which one I wanted and stuff like that and a few different sizes and obviously sizing is a little bit Zara is the same but like other places is a little bit different or it's one size so I'm an advocate now for trying on clothes I can't believe I've never done it to this point. That's terrible of me, but yeah. So I'm gonna go and go and get my tea, curl my hair, and then I've got an interview in probably like 40 minutes now. So I've got an interview and then I'm gonna go to the gym. It's gonna be probably like 11 p.m., which I've gotta get this makeup off and then go. And I know that's kinda late, but I have gotta get it in. I didn't have time to do it this morning. Like today's been a bit, 
of a mishmash just because of like time zones the way my interviews were were like kind of spread and then I you know I was like okay well that's kind of why I went out today because I was like I'll do something in the middle of them because otherwise I'm just sat inside with makeup on so yeah I just thought I'd make a day of it really um so yeah I've got gym late and then I've got to be up at a decent ish time tomorrow because I've got training but I want to go to the gym before if I have to go after it's okay but I'd rather not because we go to Osaka on Friday so tomorrow night after dojo because I don't know how long it will be I need to go to the sunbeds and then I kind of just want to come home eat pack have a nice bath like get all set and ready for wrestling and pack and everything like you know what I mean sort everything out because it normally takes a couple of hours and then just like chill because I want to go to the gym before we get on the bus tomorrow too so it's, a, it's literally like I feel like I'm just gonna be in the gym all the time <laughs> um but yeah it's just like trying to plan around things and stuff like that to get all my workouts in so yeah it's gonna be a little bit of a late one but I ate so much today I'm bulking so you gotta do what you gotta do I didn't really plan to like eat out and then I was just like mm, I'm here now so maybe I should. I actually got two main meals so I need to go put that into a leg day and like make make some gains out of that. I'll probably vlog with you guys on Saturday which is a pay-per-view and I'll have my first singles match. So I'll vlog that for you guys like if I can here and there and then yeah it's, it's, it's a hectic hectic week and then next week as well I kind of ended up doing the same thing where I feel like I've made like a lot of plans and like things to do and like packed my schedule up but I think it's better that way to just be super busy and active so literally the more I look at my hair the more I feel irritated like I could have done my hair and then vlogged but I just wanted to like talk to you guys because I'm lonely I feel like I'm going to be vlogging all the time because I've got no one to talk to <laughs> you guys are my only friends <laughs> Okay, so quick little room tour. It's been a hectic week, but look how big this room is. And then I haven't seen the bathroom. Oh, standard. Standard bathroom, real big bedroom, big TV too. Guys, it's show day, but oh my God, it's snowing! I mean, this isn't good for me because I have to go and lug a suitcase out. Maybe I need to put more layers on, but it's snowing! ま、ダイヤミンが what is up everyone? It's been a minute since I've filmed. I literally have not picked up the vlog camera in such a long time. I think I briefly showed you guys like a hotel room from the weekend because it was pretty bougie. And then I literally have not vlogged. I'm so sorry, life has been so crazy. I know I vlogged, I think the last time I vlogged was when I had a press day and then I also went to the shops and stuff like that. Yeah, since then a lot's happened. I've been wrestling a lot, just been so crazy busy. Like every day I've had something. And I have been taking my camera with me on these tour weekends that I've had but I haven't really vlogged because I feel like it was quite same samey same if that makes sense like just a little bit of me backstage but if you still want to see that kind of stuff let me know down below in the comment section I was thinking about doing some club Venus backstage stuff and some Japanese lesson stuff so if you are interested in seeing that still let me know down below but I kind of didn't bother filming in the end because I didn't know if you guys wanted to see like more of the same so if you do let me know but yeah other than that I've just been kind of basically trying to settle into Japan I'm here on my own now and just kind of figure everything out and I just feel like I've settled in so well like I've just learned so much about Japan and myself and I just feel like so at home so it's a really really good feeling um I'm actually just about to head out for dinner which is why I'm you know wearing some sort of some sort of outfit makeup hair whatever I'm getting my hair done tomorrow and I'm thinking about vlogging it because I'm going to a different hairdresser obviously because I'm in Japan and I haven't been to a different hairdresser in literally years because obviously like your, your hair is your hair and it's so scary to trust anyone else with your hair but I'm going to a different hairdresser so I'm gonna vlog it <laughs> that could be tears. It looks really good. Like their Instagram feed is amazing. The before and afters are amazing. They do hair very similar to mine, like a lot of blonde girls. So, cause my hair is very fine and, and like fragile. So you, I can't, I have to be very careful with it. So I think it's going to be good. I'm so nervous. I haven't been doing a hairdresser in so long, but we'll see how it goes. So I'm going to vlog tomorrow. I also need to go to the shops and get some makeup because I have, I've 
been using makeup so much, obviously every weekend rests in two or three times a weekend, and press conferences and other bits and pieces, like I don't think I've ever worn so much makeup, so I've absolutely hammered through my makeup, so I'm thinking about going makeup shopping afterwards if I have time, if not I'm going to go on Wednesday because I need to go before Korok and on Friday because I've literally run out of like concealer and foundation and everything, so um, I will vlog tomorrow because I'll show you guys my hair. And then I'll probably take you guys shopping with me if I have time, which I should do. I don't think it's going to take too long, but I don't know because it's all new to me. But yeah, I'm very, very excited, very nervous. But yeah, I'm going out for dinner tonight, which I'm excited about because I love food. I've gained two kilograms since I've been here. But you know what? It's actually... I look better for it, I think. So <laughs> I'm not mad about it. I've been working really hard in the gym. I've been fueling my body a lot because I've been very, very busy. But yeah, I'm going to head off now. I need to take a few selfies and I need to film a video message for someone which if you do want one you can get one from my big cartel I will link it down below you can get a custom video message from me people get birthday messages or valentine's messages or like promos whatever you want down below don't be weird and I can do that for you so I'm gonna go film that now I've got like half an hour before I go out I actually got ready ridiculously early so I'm gonna go do that probably take some pictures to kill the time too and I'll see you guys in a little bit also I want to kind of show you my outfit but I don't know where I can take you. Look at this beautiful kitchen in here. I've got these jeans from Gap. They're so comfy. I had to down, go down one size, but they're cute, right? All right, I'll see you guys tomorrow. New hair, who dis? Not the office taking my shine two seconds on this one. What is up, guys? So the vlogging went tremendously today i got my hair done though and how cute does it look i should have showed you guys it in the natural lighting also i have to hold this in my hand so it's super shaky i'm sorry i took my camera off its little tripod put it in my little bag took it out with me today like i'm gonna vlog i didn't i didn't vlog at all i'm absolutely terrible but um in my defense i was really nervous about my hair because i've had the same hairdresser for literally <sighs> like four years now and like before that like the hairdresser that I like they knew each other too so like I've literally been with two hairdressers in my entire life <laughs> I've only been with two guys in my whole life I've only been with two hairdressers and I was literally terrified because I'm getting highlights and I'm blonde and my hair is so fine but they did such an amazing job so beautiful they did a full head of highlights they did a treatment they gave me a haircut like I just had the works done, I needed it. I put my hair through so much because obviously I wrestle, I'm on tour all the time and use a lot of heat on it. So she's been through a lot and they really just made me feel so good again. So definitely recommend the movie ever in the area. I'm definitely going back. So I'm really pleased about that because I was worried about like where I would get my hair done. So I'm very happy. It was first one, first try and it was a success. So I'm very, very happy. I went and got myself some food and then I went to get some makeup. Out of so many essential bits because obviously again with wrestling, you wear so much and then other events like you're constantly wearing it and it's stage makeup too so you use a lot. Which is weird, I've never like gone through so much makeup so quickly. So I had to go and get like a bunch of like top ups because even when I came here like I've had the same makeup for like a while. So it was kind of like maybe half gone. So I had to go and get a little top up. And then I decided to go to Shibuya because there's a concealer I want and I know they stock NARS in one of the malls. So I was like, Do you know what, screw it. It was like a 15 minute train. I was like, I'm gonna go. And I went there and I ended up doing a big shop. So my new rule is I'm not allowed to do that. I'm not allowed to just pop to a shopping place. It can't happen. I went to Zara, I went to Obviously Mac, but I was always going to Mac. I went to like a random little store in the mall. H&M. H&M I got gym stuff though, and I did need gym stuff because obviously I go to the gym pretty much every day. Like even on rest days now I'm going to the gym and I'm doing yoga. So I go to the gym literally every day and like, I wear my stuff and I sweat and I work out in it and I wash it. And like where I've only brought like three or four like sort of gym sets, like they get, you know what I mean? Like I'm washing them way too much. I just need a few more teas and stuff like that. So I was able to get a few bits from H&M, which I'm really happy with. I've had stuff from H&M before and they're pretty good. Not super cheap, but also not super pricey either. So, and also the amount I washed them, like I didn't want to go and get Nike and then like pay 70 pounds for like some leggings and then just wash them to death. I feel like Nike now, like it's fashion. It's not even gym wear, like I can't be wearing it like, can't be doing that so yeah I did have a good little shop I've just got in now it's like 
eight or nine o'clock. Um, I need a shower, I've got some new pyjamas as a little treat for myself to get into and then I'm gonna either cook or maybe order some food um, as a little treat for myself because I've had been so so busy and I just feel like I need a little R&R. I've got a little bit of a day off tomorrow, I'm gonna go to the gym and I do have some bits and pieces I want to do at home, like I want to do some editing, I need to do like regen my resting gear, little bits and pieces like that, but I'm going to have a bit of a chilled one tomorrow. If I can help it, I'm going to try not to really go out apart from the gym and just have a little bit of just R&R. &R. I feel like I need to chill because even on my like off days, I end up doing stuff like today where I just go around all day and I've worked out and everything. It's just too, it's just, listen, I need to relax. I need to chill. So I'm going to have a little bit of a pamper. And then I'm gonna, I got some new skin stuff too. I ran out of skincare. So like I did get a lot of stuff I needed to get today. I did need to get stuff, but then I also got myself a few clothes I just didn't need to get, but she does what she wants. She moves in her own way and I'm not sorry about it either. My bank's sorry about it, but I'm not. So I'm gonna go. My hair smells so good too. Like the treatment they put in it is so good. Whenever I have like my hair done or whenever I go to like a spa and get a facial, I'm always like, I'm gonna look after myself so much better now. I'm gonna do hair masks, I'm gonna do face masks, and I just don't. But I really do wanna take care of my hair better because we're on the road so much and she, she goes through it, but it's just so soft and gorgeous. I'm so happy with it. I didn't know what to expect because I've never like gone to a different hairdresser before and obviously it's a different country and it's completely new to me, all of it, but they were just so good. So I'm really, really happy. I definitely recommend them. Oh, it just smells so good. <laughs> Alright guys, I'm gonna go because the sooner I go, the sooner I set my makeup off, the sooner I shower, the sooner I eat. And all I think about these days is food, so... Peace out. Bye. I know this vlog was bad. <laughs> what is up everyone? So it is Corrigan day. I'm opening, so I just wanted to quickly check in before I get going. A moment for the makeup. New hair. Yeah, we're sitting. How have I got this to match? I don't even know. But yeah, it's Corican today. I'm very, very excited. I love Corican. I think we're going to be cheering today. So let's go. What is up, everyone? It's a very windswept Mariah May coming to you. So it's, is it Sunday? I think it's Sunday today. Um, I just got back from a show. It was a pretty long travel day. I wonder if I could just set you up here. Yeah, it was a pretty long travel day. I literally just walked through the door. My hair, very windswept. I just like clipped it up because it's just, after shows, it has so much like hairspray in it. So it goes a little bit like, you know, it can go like tatty. So I just like to basically clip it up like this. And this is from um, H&M, super cute. My eye gem stayed on. Normally I'm like, oh, I didn't do enough if my eye gem stayed on, but today was like a really good, intense match. So I don't know how they're still on my face. It's al it almost feels sad to take this off, but you best believe I'm gonna go and take this off and shower and order some food as a little treat for myself. I could cook, but I'm just exhausted, like, I have not been feeling so great. I don't think it's anything to do with wrestling. I just feel like my body just needs a little rest. Um, I think it's bedtime. So yesterday we had Coric and then we had a day off and then we had today, which was quite a long travel day. And I'm so hot, like my body is suddenly so hot. Um, I'm either getting sick or mother nature is calling because yesterday I just felt horrible, which is weird because I've been since I got to Japan, I've been feeling so good. Like I just feel so energized. I don't know if it's like the food or like just being so active and stuff, but I, I just feel great um, in Japan. So this is definitely new for me. This is a, a new experience to feel um, so rubbish. So I am gonna definitely take this off and have a shower and get into my PJs. I can't wait and order some food. I started watching Ginny and Georgia last night, which was in hindsight a mistake because you know when you get addicted to like a good series, I stayed up to like 2 a.m. watching it. I, I knew it was like, I was like, I should stop. You know when you're getting tired too, so you're not even fully watching it. And like, I knew I had to be up at like 6 or 7 a.m. It was really good and we won and it's been a really fun weekend. I think it's like the first time in a while like I've had like a show, nothing in a show, which is 
different because like you're kind of chilling out but then you're kind of like in wrestling mode normally like it's like show 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 or show show so you're like just in you know the zone 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 so it's definitely different but it was a really really fun match there i really enjoyed it i'm gonna end this vlog here because i do realize that this vlog i think has been extremely like long um because i feel like i've been absolutely terrible at vlogging the past couple of weeks like i've had some really strong days and then some absolutely terrible days so <laughs> i feel like i have vlogged a lot but just little bits over time so this vlog is going to be so long for you guys i'm kind of at a crossroads with vlogging just because a lot of my stuff is day to day is like the same with regards to wrestling so obviously i have my routine in the week but like these wrestling weekends it's kind of like you know get on the bus go to the hotel the show and I can't film too much because obviously I'm really busy and I'm working and you know it's a different you know it's a different production and I can't film everything so I haven't been filming too much because I just don't know if you guys care for the little bits I do get if you like them comment if you are interested in that kind of behind the scenes stuff I predominantly put it onto my fan page just to kind of give my super fans a little bit more and kind of I make a lot of content so I try to get like the best bits and give it to like my super fans because otherwise I post so much content everywhere all the time and I'm like I need to, someone to take my phone off me um I just love it I, just, I love sharing this amazing wonderful life with you guys it's just all of its ups and downs it's just been incredible and I can't believe I'm in Japan still like this is insane to me I've been here for almost two months actually yeah like next next week it will be two months and it's it's still not real to me like it's it's i still don't like, it's weird i feel settled but i don't really we had the triangle derby which unfortunately club feed is we're not in and we got knocked out but we had a lot of trios matches which was really fun because i don't think i'd ever had a trios match until i came to japan so it was really cool and obviously being with club venus was really cool too and then now club venus mina and i are doing a lot of tag stuff or like 4a tags and stuff so there's a lot of different things happening i also had my first little singles in the gauntlet so it was like fast paced it was a little bit different but have my first singles a little bit there and yeah like the next few months are gonna be so exciting i've been announced for the cinderella tournament which is so fitting because i'm the flying princess so maybe i need to get something blue because it's cinderella i don't know do i want to wear baby blue probably not i keep going onwards and upwards and it doesn't feel real <gasps> okay my stomach rumbled it's time to go follow me on the socials get on the fan club and thank you as always guys like i literally would not be here if it wasn't for you yay